Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have got a Crumble Co. haul. Um, for those of you who don't know, Crumble Co. is a indie company. They make um, waxes for wax warmers, like the Scentsy Wax, same type of thing where you put it in a wax warmer, it melts it, and it makes your house smell good. Um, they also make bath bombs and um, they don't have any right now, but I know they also make body lotions. They have like face, like moisturizers. I have seen, oh, they have the toilet spray, like the poopery stuff. They make their own toilet spray. Um, they have a bunch of other products, but the only products I have bought from them are the waxes. I really like them. So these are the ones I bought for fall time. Um, so it's most, it, there's a lot of like fall scents in there. There's some that like were like part of like their Halloween um, fall type of dealio, but really could be used anytime. They're kind of more anytime scents, not necessarily just like fall type scents. Um, so yeah, I love Crumble Co. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the sample I got because pretty much in every order I've gotten, I've gotten a sample and then in other, uh, like I'm on the Facebook page. Um, so usually when people share pictures of their haul, there's usually a sample. It does say that you may not get one, but I've always gotten one. And this is a sample of the scent Aurora Borealis. It smells really good. It's blue. It looks almost like a flower. It kind of melted. It. I live in El Paso, and it's like El Paso, Texas, and it's still really, really hot here, so my wax is a little bit melted. This smells, it's really fruity. I can't really put my finger on it. It's really fruity. Um, it's not bad. I like getting the samples because then I can smell them and then decide if I want like a full-sized um, like brick of this. I don't know. This was on my wish list, but I don't, I just don't know. I don't know if I'd want, you know what I mean? I don't know. It smells good, but I don't know. All right, so now on to the actual ones I bought. There are 10 all together. And we're going to start off with this one, which is can of corn. This one is my son's favorite. And it looks like this. If I can get that thing open, it looks like this. Mm, it does smell good. The scent description says that it smells like honey, butter, vanilla, sugar, and almond. And I can smell the butter, the vanilla, and the almond. The honey and the sugar, like I do smell like sweetness in it, but I can't be like, oh, that smells like white sugar. Oh, that smells like honey. Um. I wouldn't necessarily say that this reminds me of candy corn, but it does smell really good. It's kind of candy-esque. So I like that. This next one is called Pumpkin Marshmallow. And it's a description says it smells like scooped pumpkin and fire toasted marshmallows. And it looks like this. And I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I don't know if I would buy this one again. Um, but you can smell like the marshmallow smell. I wouldn't say it smells necessarily toasted. Um, if anyone has ever smelled Marshmallow Fireside by Bath and Body Works, that's like a toasted marshmallow smell. And it, it does, it smells like the fire, like it smells like the burning wood and like it also has the marshmallow smell. That is, like for me, for like marshmallow, like if it claims to be a toasted marshmallow scent, it better smell like that particular candle. Cause, and then you can smell the pumpkin. I don't know, this is one, I do like it. I will definitely melt it. Um, <clears throat> I just got to see if maybe it smells better when it's melted. I don't know. I like it. 
Don't know if I'd repurchase this one upon like, you know, cold sniff, but I do like it. This one is called Bat Bite. And it's scent description says it is black cherry and vanilla. And it looks like that. And this one is a little bit, it's different. Mm, you can smell the black cherry and it smells so good. And then the vanilla is weird because it's not like, it's not like when you like buy like a candle or a wax melt like this and it smells like, say like a vanilla cupcake where it smells like frosting, like a sweet vanilla frosting. The vanilla in this, instead of being like an overly sweet vanilla, is almost kind of like musky. If anyone knows what I mean. I don't know. It smells good. This is like, this one smells really good. I'm definitely going to melt it. I'm going to have to see how I feel when I melt it. Um, I could see myself possibly repurchasing this one. If I, you know, if I like it when it's burning. The next one I have is Peanut Butter Pumpkin Fudge. And this one does not have a scent description, but the name of it is kind of self-explanatory. But I will say, even though that does kind of like, I don't want to say it like makes me mad, but I kind of don't like the fact that some of these will have like scent descriptions and some of them don't. I think they should either all, I think they should all have scent descriptions because it makes it easier to, you know, describe to you what it is. Because even on the site, some of these don't even have scent descriptions on them. I mean, yeah, this one's a little bit self-explanatory, but that's not the point. Um, also, so, eh, for some reason, I thought this was going to be like peanut butter, chocolate, and pumpkin. Because it had the word fudge in it. For totally forgetting that peanut butter fudge was a thing. So, it looks like this. And it smells real good. It just smells, it smells like legit peanut butter fudge with pumpkin in it. That's exactly what it smells like. I think it smells good. I really, really do. So this one's a winner. Um, again, I, again, with all of these, like, even if I say like, they're like, oh, this is my favorite one out of the whole batch or, oh, da, 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 da. You know, it could change when I actually melt it because it may not smell the same when it's melting as it does in the brick. You know what I mean? You know how sometimes things smell different? The next one is called Mummy Issues. And it just says that it smells like white chocolate rattled bones. And I kind of regret buying this one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Neither one of my children like it. I love how it looks though. Like, I really love how it looks. But there's just, what is that smell? Like, okay, it smells like chocolate. It really does. But it's got like a weird, I don't know if it necessarily smells like white chocolate. But it does smell like chocolate. Neither one of my kids liked it. I seriously doubt my husband's going to like it. I kind of like it. I'm like on the fence. So, I don't know. I want to melt it, but I'm afraid it's also going to be too strong and give everybody a headache. I don't know. It smells like something, but I can't think of what. You know what I mean? I don't know. This one, like I said, I'm on the fence about. I probably will not repurchase this one, but it does. I do kind of like the smell. It's a weird, a weird thing. This next one is called Miss American Pie. And it says this one smells like Granny Smith apples, butter, cream, and cinnamon crust. I thought this one would be cool for fall, like, you know, like apple pie, um, like pumpkin pie, you know, like pie scents for fall. Um, but also this is kind of more of an anytime smell. It looks like this and it smells so good. I can smell the apples, like, well, apples definitely. And then I can smell the cinnamon, but it's not like your normal, like everyday apple cinnamon smell. This is like a fresh real apple with cinnamon smell as opposed to like an artificial apple cinnamon smell when you think of apple cinnamon. 
This one smells real good. Mmm. This one I could see myself buying again. And what I really like about this one too is I could use this one for fall, but it also would, I feel this one would also work for like if I was to do it in the spring or the summer as well. I think this was like a good anytime um, scent. This next one is called Sexy Pumpkin Man. And just look at the face on this. I think that's so weird. The name of this one's weird. Um, this one is described as being apple, pear, and cherry with pumpkin and sweet spice. Um, I bought this one because I do like fruity scents, so like the scent description did get me. But also, this one apparently was like the one that like everybody was waiting for for when the fall scents dropped. Um, everybody was raving about it, that they loved it so much. And apparently it's like their best selling scent for the fall scent line. This is like their best seller. And it looks like this. And it does smell good. It smells, excuse me, mm. to me it smells like fall. It really does. I can smell like the spice, like the sweet spice and like maybe a hint of pumpkin, but I don't smell apple, I don't smell pear, I don't smell cherry. All I smell is like pumpkin spice, you know? But I do love it and I can't wait to burn this one. This one though, I am not going to burn because like I said, it's still really warm where I am. So I can't really, it's not really fall scent time yet. This one I probably won't burn until maybe like late October, like early November time. But it does smell really nice. I just don't really smell the fruit. Like I don't smell any of the fruity elements. I just mostly smell like the pumpkin and the, and the spice. And not even really mo a lot of the pumpkin. I just, I'm getting mostly the spice. But it does smell nice. I do really like it. Would I buy it again? I don't know. I'm going to have to see how it burns but it's pretty good. It's a nice fall scent. This next one is pumpkin cupcake and I cannot give you a scent description on this one because it does not have one. Um, but I mean, I pumpkin cupcake, I guess. It looks like this. And this one I like, it's okay. This one has more of the sweet vanilla scent um, when I was talking earlier, like if you have like a cupcake scented something, this has a little bit of a sweet vanilla and then I can smell like pumpkin spice and I can smell like a little bit of pumpkin. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I, I think it smells nice and I will burn it, melt it, whatever, but it's not my favorite and I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I don't hate it. This next one. I saved the, I have two left and I saved them for last on purpose because they are my two favorite upon cold sniff out of all of the ones I bought. These two are my favorite. And if I could, well, I mean, I totally could if I wanted to, but I would go back and like buy like three more of each of these. So the first one is called zombie takeout and it smells like bubblegum brains and bloody cherries. Oh my god, why won't it open? Eh. It looks like this. And it smells so good. Okay. If any of you guys watched one of my other, one of my first hauls, I think it was my very first haul from Combo Co., I got a scent bar and I've actually done a review on it called Cherry. And it just smelled like straight up cherries. And I said it smelled like cherry candy. It was a really, really strong cherry scent. It has that same cherry scent as the cherry bar, but with bubble gum in it. So the cherry bubble gum that, I mean, it smells so good. Oh my God. And this is one like it's called zombie takeout. It's part of their fall line, but this is one of those scents that I really feel you could use at any time. You know, you could use it during fall if you wanted. Um, spring, summer, winter. 
it smells super good. Oh, and like I said, it, I want to, but I'm not, I would go and buy like four more of these if I could. And then the last one, again, which is my other favorite, is peanut butter cookies. It says that this one smells like brown sugar, vanilla cream, and peanut butter. It looks like that. And mm, it smells like peanut butter cookies. It just... You can really smell the peanut butter and the vanilla cream. The brown sugar, I guess, could be there, but maybe is like mas masked a little bit by maybe the peanut butter smell. But it smells so good, just like cookies. And again, this is this one is my um, my youngest son's favorite one. And then my older son, he said his favorite was the candy corn one or the zombie takeout. But this one smells so good. Again. If I could, I'd go to their site and I would buy like four of this one and like four of this one. And honestly, the only reason why I'm not doing that is because I told my husband I wouldn't buy any more wax until I used up, you know, a good chunk of what I have. The only reason he, um, he agreed <laughs> to, you know, the only reason he like didn't really be like really when I made this order was because it was for the fall scents and in my previous orders they were all pretty much like summer scents so we wouldn't have any fall scents so that's really the only way the only reason I got away with making this order so but totally once I start using up some of my waxes I'm gonna buy some more um, this one I don't know how long zombie takeouts going to be in stock because like I said it's more of a Halloween type of Delio, so I don't know if he'll have it in stock past Halloween. He might. I have no idea. Peanut butter cookies. It's out for like the fall collection, but I don't know if it like they he put it out in the fall. I just don't know if it's part of like the fall collection. Um, so I don't know. This could be around for a while. And that is all of my scent wax that I recently got. Like I said, have some major hits. Have a few have I have some major hits I have one or two kind of misses and then I have a few and then I have some that are kind of like meh we'll just see how they go you know and and again this is just cold sniff um the other thing with these bars is the longer you let them sit before you melt them the stronger and better their scent I guess develops over time um that's what Brandon who is the owner of the company says um, so I don't know. Like I said, the only one I really straight up do not like, and I'm still not sure if I'm going to melt it, is Mummy Issues. I just, I just don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I am going to get going, and I'm going to put the waxes in my little container that I have that I keep all my waxes in, and I will talk to you later. Bye!